Okay, so let's go ahead and just for the fun of it, let's move our attractor. Uh, our attractor is just another mover, like we said, and so we can uh, apply a force to it if we want. And uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, we don't need to put it inside the mover list. We need to put it inside uh, uh, moment in time. So for each moment in time, we want to uh, app apply force and then uh, update it and check edges. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to do it like we do the mover. Uh, we're going to put in the attractor name, an attractor check edges, and we need to apply a force, and a force is just a vector, so we can just put it in right here, or I don't know if we can or not, but let's try it, uh, and let's put in like 1 uh, uh, 0.5 and 0.2 let's try that and if it's moves too slow or too fast we can change that and okay it's completed successfully um, Okay, but to represent it uh, outside of Grasshopper, we need to uh, we need to figure out some way to 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 uh, represent it outside of Grasshopper. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put it right here, and we're going to say a tractor position. That's what we want. Okay, and let's uh, clean this up a little bit out here. I want to make, oops, I want to make an integer, and I want to, I'm going to call it time it. Okay, so I'm noticing that uh, when I move, when I right click uh, and drag after I release the button, oh, it's not doing it now, there, it's always opening up this, I don't know why it's doing that, but we're not going to worry about it right now. If anybody knows why it's doing that, please let me know. Put our time in right there. And we're just cleaning this up a little bit. Okay, so let's look at what we get. Um, for each moment in time, I put the position of the attractor in at the at the end. So attractor position. So we have position list, mass list, and attractor dot position. And here's our attractor dot position. And so let's get access to that. needs to be two and let's 
So this gives us our position. We're going to put a sphere where it's at. And then we're also going to, we have our mass up here already, so we're going to plug that in. And let's test this and see what happens. Yeah, so it's working fine, and uh, we could play around with those values to get something more exciting going on. Uh, but this is pretty exciting, and uh, uh, I just wanted to set that up and, and show it to you before we moved on.